What is up, F and True followers, wrestling fans, and members of the YWC? I'm JC Styles here with the F and Brand of Wrestling and Entertainment here on YouTube.com with the TNA Impact review for November 29, 2012. Impact was pretty interesting tonight, and I must say, I have fallen off the TNA wagon, so to speak, for a little bit. Uh, since the last pay-per-view I reviewed with uh, Brian, or Impact review with Brian, I haven't watch watched much Impact. But I tuned in tonight, and I have to say, from what I've seen with the Ace and Eights, and the attacks, and how they're progressing the storyline, I find it so interesting. You know, I kind of wish that they would have been started this whole, them attacking people, early on uh, during the summer before I stopped watching it. Because I probably wouldn't have stopped watching it if they would have started doing this a lot sooner. Because the storyline is getting a lot more interesting. But we start off the show with the video package of the events that took place last week with Aaron Young, Eric Young being attacked and some of the uh, members of the Ace and H's doing some more attacking on other of the TNA roster. We then see the incident with uh, Brooke Hogan and Austin Aries, which led into the first segment of tonight. We saw Hogan come out and call out Bully Ray, wanting to know what's been going on between him and his daughter, Brooke. And as they started to, you know, get answers, Brooke come running out and says, I'm not 18 anymore. And he and Hogan basically said, well, look, I don't care if you're 18 or not. As long as I'm on this earth, you are not going to date a, a wrestler, especially one like him, and pointing at Bully Ray. Now, what really, really gets underneath my skin is that now on over on Raw, Monday Night Raw, you have AJ and Cena, and in TNA, now you have Brooke and Bully. I, I just don't get it. But we then see Austin Aries on the on the screen, and he's in the back with a couple of the X Division stars, Kid Cash, Ion, and Kenny King, and saying that they deserve a shot at RVD's world title. And then... I mean, X Division Championship, and then you see him laying on uh, Brooks' uh, desk or Hogan's desk, and he makes a crack about Brooke Hogan laying on the desk with Bully Ray and all that. Then we move into a Storm, James Storm segment, which uh, he talks about the decisions that he makes that affect his life, and they're his decisions to make. And they show uh, he's talking about the the decision that he made to pin AJ at at the last pay-per-view, which caused him, uh, AJ, not to be able to be contention for a world title shot for one year. Then we go into the first match. We see Mickey James pick up the win over Gail Kim. Now, this is the one thing I can always say that I really liked about TNA is that the use of the knockouts. The knockouts go out there and they go hard. It looks realistic like women's wrestling should be, you know, Compared to some of the divas that wrestle over in the WWE, it just looks really phony at times. And when I mean at times, I mean a lot. But I'm not bashing. It's just I, I prefer the hard hitting of the TNA knockouts compared to the divas. Then we see a Bobby Roode promo. He comes out talking about how Jeff Hardy, the world champion, almost lost to the new rookie Christian York. And I have to say Christian York actually did a pretty phenomenal job against Jeff Hardy last night. He pushed Jeff Hardy uh, last week. I'm sorry push Jeff Hardy to his limits, and I have to say, I'm expecting to see a good things out of this Christian York kid, I can tell you that much, and he actually has my stamp of approval, and I'm hoping that TNA will do something big with him. And then later in the night, we also find out another uh, gut check winner as well. We then uh, see uh, Bobby Roode pick up the win over Christian York, Roode goes to grab the chair post-match, and Jeff Hardy comes out to make the save. And then you see Roode scurry off up the stage like he does with his tail tucked between his legs. Then we see an Ace and Eights promo uh, segment. And basically, d said to, uh, f to Hogan, says, I want my TNA television championship back or something's going to go down tonight. Someone's going to get hurt. And Hogan, you have to tell me tonight. We then uh, see James Storm and AJ Styles team up and take on and pick up the win over Daniels and Kazarian. I honestly don't really know what they're doing with Daniels. If you're going to have him come out and dance to some retarded music, uh, entrance music, and then you're going to have him do the Gangnam style dance, you might as well just put him back in the curry man suit. That's what I got to say about that. Then we uh, go backstage and we see Aries, Cash, Ion, and Kenny King. Uh, they state their case, and Hogan chooses Aries to face RVD for the X Division Championship later in the main event. Joe is caught up backstage uh, and asks about the words and comments that were made by Devon, and 
basically Joe said, hey, you know what, if Devon wants it, he can come get it, but he's going to get Pete, and Joe is going to kill him, pretty much, uh, just like typical Joe fashion. We then see the return of Matt Morgan. Morgan had been seen popping up here and there on Impact and at pay-per-views, but tonight was his return to in-ring action, where he picked up the, uh, a dominating win over Douglas Williams. We then see the gut check uh, winner, the gut check challenge. We see the winner from last week's match, Wes Briscoe, who is the son of Jerry Briscoe and the nephew of Jack Briscoe. And I have to say, I, I got to see some clips of this guy last week, and I can agree with some of the judges. What they said is that he he was going 9,000 miles an hour and he was looking a little sloppy. I can relate to that because he did, but. You know, when you're trying to impress someone and you go full speed, mistakes happen. I mean, we're only human and people make mistakes. But in this particular uh, line of work, there can be no room for error. And he winds up picking up the gut check uh, win and getting a contract with TNA. He was also given the stamp of approval by Kurt Angle. And they were the gut check judges were trying frantically to find Al Snow and he was nowhere to be found. So D'Lo stepped in and Wes delivered a great promo. Uh, when he was all given the mic for 30 seconds, and he said that he's doing this for his family, his uncle, and the fans of the TNA uh, Impact. We then move into the final match of the night. We see Austin Aries winning over RVD by disqualification. When Austin Aries picked up the mic and you know made some really sick, sickening comments about. RVD, but he addressed him towards Brooke Hogan, saying that he's he's sweaty, his hair is a mess, and he's on his back, something similar to Brooke Hogan. And Bully Ray comes running out and costs Austin Aries the uh, title, but picks up the win um, by disqualification. And then we see Hulk Hogan come out, and is basically kind of a rock between a hard place, where Bully Ray is a hard place, and the rock is the... Hulk Hogan up on the stage, and Austin Aries didn't really know where to go. And we see the show go off the air with uh, Bully Ray yelling, you still don't trust me, you don't still don't trust me. Um, overall, uh, pretty good impact, I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed it. This is actually the first impact that I've watched from beginning to end in quite some time, and I will be getting back to doing these reviews for TNA Impact. I'm sorry Brian was not able to... Uh, get together with me tonight, but he will give you his thoughts and opinions over on Fight Nation Wrestling, so make sure you stay tuned for that a little bit later on tonight or early tomorrow morning. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Leave your comments in the comment box below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on what you thought of TNA Impact tonight. And like always, thank you for tuning in. Remember to check out the official website of the FM brand at FightNationWrestling.com and all the channels that make up the FM brand here on YouTube.com. Also, for those of you that are interested in checking out my two created Road to WrestleMania storylines, go on to WWE 13 Community Creations on the Xbox 360 and type in JC Styles YouTube, and that'll pop up for you. But a little tidbit, make sure you turn off the camera cuts. Those are the replays. There has There's a glitch in the system where it causes the scenes to freeze uh, the, the, the console. So make sure you do that and you can play through the storylines with no problem. That being said, guys, I'm JC Styles and catch you later.